I'm actually going to do something different this evening, which is I'm going to pick a fight with the whole audience, if I may. Uh, when Jim briefed me about this event, he said, Rory, your job is to be challenging and um, to, to, if you can, disagree with the premise that integrated reporting is, is a good thing. Now, I have to start by saying that actually it's, that's quite a difficult position to take because I think it is somewhat self-evident that integrated reporting is valuable, it's a very sensible contribution and, and is actually the direction which reporting needs to travel. But it's not clear that it's the holy grail that we're looking for in terms of moving towards sustainability or sustainable development. Now, I'm going to do a couple of things which, which good speakers never do, hence I can do them. Okay, the first is I'm going to engage with the audience. And secondly, I'm going to ask four questions. Now, the standard rule when you do perfect PowerPoint presentations and perfect training courses, you have three points, you repeat them three times, and then you summarize them three times at the end. Because this is such a high quality audience, we're going to have four, four points, okay? If anybody's struggling at this point, look around and find a friendly face, hold hands and relax, it'll be okay. I'm going to offer four statements or challenges. What I would like you, the audience, to do is Put your hand up if you disagree with, with each statement after I say it. So it's, I want disagreement, not agreement. And then, then I will offer some, some reflections. The other thing I'd like to say is that I have no intention of offering conclusions, but I, but I actually want to provide some thought starters for the discussion we'll have after the, the four presentations. So remembering, hands up if you disagree. If this is confusing, search for help, okay? Statement one. Integrated reporting represents a radical innovation in reporting processes and practices. Does anybody disagree with that? Okay, so about 10%. Okay, thanks. Okay, the second statement is, so I was going to make a note of the percentages, sta shareholders, our investors, are more likely to read integrated reports than they are the conventional, boring, irrelevant narrative reports that currently, account that currently accompany the annual accounts. Who disagrees with that, that, that shareholders are more likely to read an integrated report? Again, 10%-ish, 11 because Jim's just put his hand up, um, and, and interestingly different people to those who disagreed with the first statement. The third statement I would like to offer is integrated reporting with its focus on materiality or material information signals the death knell for the standalone sustainability or corporate responsibility report. Who disagrees with that? So we have 25% of the audience who think sustainability reports or reporting, I mean, using Louise's wider interpretation, remains important. Um, the last one, and this time because Alan's on the panel and I don't know very much about social media, but I thought I might, might dip my toe in the water tonight. Social media represent a game changer in how companies perform on sustainability issues. Does anybody disagree with that? Three or four hands, so 5% of the audience. Okay, I disagree with every single one of those statements. So anybody who disagreed with the statements, thank you, at least I'm not alone tonight. Um, I just want to offer a couple of, of, of comments as to why I'm disagreeing with, with them. The first is I, I don't think integrated reporting is, is a new debate. I think it's a, it's a bit of a rehash of an old debate. It's maybe a bit of tidying up of loose ends. I don't think we've seen anything that signals um, signals that it represents a major change in reporting. It is what companies, I think, should be doing as part of their report and accounts anyway. The operating financial review discussion we had here in the UK some 10 years ago opened up a lot of these themes. So the first point I would like to make is that I think integrated reporting is not new. At best, it's a clarification and tidying up. Will investors, are investors more likely to read a narrative, uh, an integrated report? If, if evidence today is any guide, they won't. They will see it as the kind of corporate fluff that accompanies, com that accompanies the accounts. Um, given that most investors are incentivized to look at short-term factors and factors that they consider material, the idea that a report that provides a narrative around long-term resource dependency, wishy-washy, namby-pamby stuff, that that is going to be more interesting or attractive to them, I, I think is um, um, incorrect. I think the, the argument that reporting could be made more concise and relevant is, cr is true, and I think that is a contribution that integrated reporting may offer. But um, I, I think um, it's somewhat delusional to suggest in investors will be more interested. Um, 
on the question around corporate responsibility reporting, I'm actually quite concerned that the, the enthusiasm for integrated reporting means that we will lose sight of the, the contribution that corporate responsibility reporting can make. I think corporate responsibility report is only now reaching a level of maturity where it's actually of use to anyone. You know, that is, that as we've seen, companies get a handle on their data, providing some trend data, etc. And as we're starting to see in the investment world, investors starting to look for correlations, performance measures, you know, interesting social environmental related indicators. I'm really concerned that in this integrated reporting world, where the test for what gets included in an integrated report is material information, many of the valuable data that are, that are starting to be provided are just going to be lost or, or, or written out. Finally, my, my social media question was really something of a, of a red herring. Um, but I, it actually, I actually did want to make a final point, which is the other problem we have with reporting is that companies think that the answer is reporting. If, if good reporting and more transparency is the answer, what is the question? I would just like to emphasize that from an investment point of view, the ultimate test is performance. That is, do companies manage risk effectively? Do they manage their impacts? Do they have good relationships with stakeholders? Reporting is a tool to support that. Reporting is a tool that can focus management attention and can provide a basis for dialogue with stakeholders. But ultimately, this discussion is about performance. It's about more sustainable companies, minimizing impacts, managing risk, min maximizing opportunity. It is not about reporting. Thank you.